Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here on Feel Good Friday. Today we're talking about the hip hinge and why learning how to perform a hip hinge is so important not only to your squat, to your deadlift, and your kettlebell swing, but even for your life in general, anytime you go to squat down or bend over. The idea behind the hip hinge is that your spine stays nice and stable and nice and straight and the movement comes from your hips. Keeping your spine straight whenever you bend over or you squat is so important because in between each of the vertebrae of your spine, you have what's called a disc. The disc is kind of like a jelly donut. It's hard on the outside and soft on the inside and it allows for some cushion in between the different vertebrae. When we allow our spines to deviate from that straight posturing, that puts a lot of extra pressure on the discs and the surrounding nerves. So let me show you what I mean by a hip hinge. If I'm going to bend forward, like performing a deadlift for example, I'm going to hinge at my hips, but my back is going to stay straight. That's a hip hinge. As opposed to bending forward at my back, right? So you want to keep your back straight and hinge at your hips. A good way to kind of get a feel for this is to use a rod. We're going to put it on your back and the rod should touch three points the entire time. The back of your head, in between your shoulder blades, and down by your tailbone. So we're going to have these three points of contact and then you're going to go up next to a wall, about a foot away from a wall. And keeping these points of contact on the rod, you're going to push your butt back to touch the wall and then stand up straight. So push your butt back, touch the wall, and back up straight. So you can see that the three points of contact remain in contact the whole time. If I was to round my back, the points wouldn't touch, right? If I was to bend over like this, you see the rod is going to come off my tailbone. Or if I bend forward and I let my head drift forward like this and look up, you see how now the point isn't on the back of my head, now it's on a different point. So you want to keep the back of your head in between your shoulder blades and your tailbone touching this rod the whole time when you bend forward like this. So you can see that this movement is really the beginning of any squat or any deadlift and it's the proper form that you should have throughout your day whenever you're bending over to pick something up, if you're getting up from a chair, sitting down from a chair, getting in your car, getting out of your car, you always want to keep a straight spine. Be sure to keep that hip hinge locked in while you're performing your lifts, right? But also, in between your lifts too, it's very important. So if you lock in that hip hinge, have a perfect hip hinge, do your deadlift and you're finished with your set, and then you go to put more weight on the bar, and you bend down like that to pick up the weight and put it on the bar, you're still putting a lot of pressure on your back. Always, always keep that hip hinge. So not only during the exercise, but before it, after it, and throughout your entire day. Be sure to practice this hip hinge. Get it down, make it feel comfortable. Use it every time you train and throughout your day, and I guarantee you're gonna see improvements and you're gonna improve the health of your spine. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.